Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a quick inbox review of this RS uh, Airspeed uh, Envoy. Uh, let's have a quick look. Okay chaps, uh, RS Models Airspeed Envoy. Um, this is a side opening box. Um, this is, you know, this is what it is I suppose. Um, on the side of the box is just some what they do. On the back is where the, uh, the kind of call outs are. Yeah, obviously it's this, this scheme that we're going to be doing here. Uh, we'll have a look at that later on. Um, let's have a look. What we've got side open box. So there you go. Um, as you can see, we're all bagged up. So as per normal, we'll uh, debag and and have a look from there. So the first sprue that we've, uh, we've come come across come out of the bag is uh, well, it's obviously see what that is fuse large. Um, engine the cells or underneath of the cells for the undercarriage I guess. Um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah there's detail there. Um, there's just nothing on the inside. Uh, uh, pretty much short run stuff as you can imagine. Um, four, four different types of props. So, this is, I believe, um, they do, AS models do a few boxings of this kit, and this is the, oh, crumbs. Uh, the, the, I think the, the, one of the differences that they do with the, the uh, different kits is the engines. So this is obviously why we've got different engines, um, the cells, and different props, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, the seats, you know, pretty bland, but at that scale, you don't see a lot anyway. Small, isn't it tiny? Yeah, that's okay, I suppose. So the next sprue that we've come across of obviously is the wings. Um, is there a bit of flash there? I don't know until you get into the kit, I suppose it's probably a, bit of, a big bit of flash perhaps. Uh, nice mould, there's nice detail on here, very fine lines. Um, no rivets on the top of the wings, but underneath. There are rivet, there is rivet detail. Uh, again, there's no locating pins at all. Bit, bit, bit of short run thing. Uh, these, these injector stubs need pulling back a bit. There's a bit flashy. If you can see the control column there. So the internal of the, uh, of the cabin, there's nothing on that at all. Would you see it? Would have to, if we're gonna put any embellishment on there, like, as opposed to belts, I suppose you could put some belts on, couldn't we? Whether you'd actually see them through the little windows, I, um, I wouldn't know, so we'll have to look at that as, as and when. Uh, but no, that was quite nice. Again, like I say, Pretty tiny, but I don't mind tiny at the minute. So as well as the styrene, uh, we also get a bag of odds and sods. So, obviously this is a bit of resin, a bit of resin, get some glazing, and we get a piece of paper, which is lovely. So what we'll do first, shall we just get that resin out of the way, out of the way, and have a look at the, uh, a bit of glass here. Um, well that's actually superbly clear. That really is clear. 
on the flat or on the flat windows of course uh, there's a bit wobbly on the on the the canopy which you'd you'd probably expect but now that is um <coughs> That is quite clear. That is not bad at all. So it's looking like we're gonna have to do something with the um, with the uh, with the internal cabin, I think, because it looks like you might be able to see it. We also get a little bit of photo etch, uh, seat belts. Instrument panel, uh, a couple of cockpits, the levers. I don't know what these are here. I'll look in the instructions to see what these are. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. Nice little photo etch set. Now, if we drag this resin in. So the resin bits, uh, it's the Cheetah, <laughs> it's the Cheetah engine this one has. Um, let's have a look at these resin parts. I mean they're quite nice. I mean they're quite nice, quite nicely done. Uh, very thin. done for the um, cowlings, engines, we've got the, um, the exhaust ring for the engines and then the top of the, um, uh, the top of the, the engine nacelles are there so they would fit So you can see how um, how you you have different engine fit because there's obviously you've got twin engines here and then you just change them to whatever engine you, you have uh, quite easily. So that's part of the you know, part of the different. I think they do about four. Is it four or five different uh, versions of this this kit? And I think that the different probably is the different engines. So that's quite nice. So. decals now obviously um, let's have a look they are very very thin uh, I think it looks like they probably make them themselves um, uh, very thin caro films very um, uh, very cut very tight to this lettering um, because I'm going to be doing the Spanish one I'm gonna end up spraying these colours, so don't worry about that one. Um, well, that's quite a nice little decal sheet. There's no stencils on there. It's just, just, um, it's just the market, uh, just, just different national markings. So these are the schemes at the back of the box. Uh, I said we'd have a look into the front of the box. Here's the back of the box. I think that we're not whited out too much. Uh, about there, I think, so you're not uh, being glazed out. Uh, four schemes, South African one, we've got a Luftwaffe one, German one, and two Spanish ones. I say Spanish, this is obviously um, uh, Pyrenees. It looks like it's got a French registration on it. So I'd guess that's French. Same in front of there. Hmm. Okay, uh, the one I'm going to be doing is this one here uh, from the, the Republican side. Uh, we're going to be spraying the the fin flash on the back there, 
and obviously the red striping uh, is going to be sprayed. Um, a pretty non-descriptive colour callouts, black, cream, red and silver. Um, that would be quite nice too because you don't see <laughs> not many cream aeroplanes but I might leave that for another time. Uh, so obviously we're going to be silver and then this is all going to be, like I say, uh, I don't know what red to use though. If you've been following the channel, you know I've been using a lot of red lately, uh, signal red. I wonder whether that, I might change that to something else. You get sick of doing the same colour all the time, don't you? But obviously you're going to be mixing that colour there, mixing it to the purple. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Very nice schemes too. I do like that cream one though. Finally, we come on to the um, to the instructions. A bit backward way of doing it today, but there you go. There you go. There's a cheater engine. Look, this is the one with the cheater engine. Um, instructions, pretty basic stuff by the look of it. Uh, you, you, you're pretty basic, easy to follow. Color callouts doesn't give you. It just gives you a, a color. There's no uh, paint manufacturer number or anything, which is fair enough, I suppose. Uh, pretty easy, um, pretty basic, that's it. You don't get a lot in it. Um, does it say what colour the seats should be? B. Interior. Interior green, right? I need to, <laughs> I can't even read, my eyes are getting that bad, I can't even read these with my glasses on these, these letters. Maybe it's, oh I don't know, I'll have to, I'll make it up as a girl, linen, there you go, these linens, I don't know, maybe you do these different colour, maybe you do a bit of um, artistic licence for the colour of the seats I think. Um, what can you say there? That looks like a tricky area. I'm going to have to watch this, obviously, because the top of the... So all this section here looks like it's going to be glass. Excuse me, gents. So that's going to fit on there. Is that way around? Fit on there and then we get the top part, which is this part here to fit on the top. And then the core, oh, yeah, crumbs. Getting all that to line up is gonna be, um, gonna be a task, no doubt. But yeah, something that we're all up to doing, because we're all modelers. <laughs> uh, and then finally, we on the back here, it's, and the carriage looks pretty flimsy. Uh, and then the last thing to go on is the propellers. No mention. There's no mention other than this uh, of the resin nacelle on the top there. I guess. Ah, so you line up the bottom. Looks like we're lining up the bottom. Oh, here we go. Uh, with the little slot for the um, for the undercarriage there. And keep an eye on that as well. But there you go, airspeed envoy. Uh, well, there you go. It's a nice little uh, soft, uh, soft, uh, short run kit uh, by RS Models. Now. I haven't done an RS models kit before. I've done an A model, which is, it looked pretty similar in the in the box. Um, I'm a bit worried about this bit of glazing up round here. That, that that's going to be, uh, I think that's going to be a bit of a challenge that one. But it looks okay. I, I can't see it being um, around for for long. I think it should be built pretty sharpish. It's actually going into uh, Jason Champions. 
Spanish Civil War uh, group build. He runs on his uh, Spanish Civil War um, SIG and Facebook group. Uh, I heartily recommend the group. He's a great lad anyway, uh, Jace. Um, and it's really interesting um, subject, Spanish Civil War, something I know very little about. Um, it makes a nice change from the usual old Second World War, Cold War um, guff that, that's, that's around. Uh, so this is an interesting little aeroplane with an interesting upside down. <laughs> with a, let me see how it's wearing out. With a nice little um, interesting little scheme. So I should um, hopefully enjoy this. So um, I'll be building it soon. I'm going to have waffle. Uh, exactly what I want to go and have a cup of tea. Uh, enjoy your modelling. See you later, chaps.